بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله um, this clip that i'm going to show you is really difficult to watch والله you know every time i see it uh, my heart is broken i think many of us probably are feeling the same things we've been watching what's happening in gaza لا حول ولا قوه الا بالله وان الا ان لله وانا اليه راجعون you know it's so hard to bear our hearts all of us you know are or in places and spaces that we just keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give his mercy to them and that he subhanahu wa ta'ala makes their matters easy for them. And I saw this video on Instagram and I'm going to set the scene for you. And uh, it's, as I said, it's not easy to watch. It's a Palestinian mother, a loving mother who left her house just to go get flour. As you know, they're being starved by the Israelis. Uh, not allowed to have any aid come within Gaza. And she went out, this mother, just to get some flour so she can try to bake something for her children. And she comes home and she finds that her home has been bombed by the Israelis and her family and her children killed. You can just, I mean, just saying that, La ilaha illa Rabbi. And so we see the reaction of this woman as this is happening, as this is unfolding to her in real time. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give mercy to her, Ya Arhamar Rahimin. We ask Allah, Ya Rabbi, give mercy to her and the thousands of other Palestinians that this is happening to, Ya Arhamar Rahimin. Let's, let's watch this together. <laughs> You can imagine as a parent, you know, I'm a, I'm a father and many of you watching this are probably mothers and fathers and you can imagine the emotion, La ilaha illa rabbi, you know. You know, I was out uh, playing with my children the other day, wallahi. And I was throwing a football with them. I'm staring at my seven-year-old and the joy that he's feeling as his father's throwing a football to him. And wallahi, my heart was like broken. Because I'm thinking about what's happening in Gaza. And I'm seeing my son with joy and I'm thinking about all the parents and all the children that are suffering. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala huwa ahkamul hakimin. Wa kataba ala nafsihi rahma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written upon himself mercy and he subhanahu wa ta'ala has infinite wisdom. Wisdom is derived from him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he does everything for a reason. And whether we see that reason in our lifetime or not, we'll see it on the day of judgment. And the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi addressed the suffering that parents feel when their child returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Our Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama, he himself lost children alayhi wa ala alihi salam. And so none of us, maybe if we haven't gone through that experience, we can never walk in anyone else's shoes that has. But I want to share with everyone a hadith from our Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the angels when a son or a daughter is taken away from one of his servants, if we can put that online. The Messenger of God, sallallahu ta'ala, alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama, said, when a slave's child dies, when one of our children dies, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks his angels, have you taken out the life of the child of my servant, of my slave? And they reply, yes. They reply in the affirmative. He subhanahu wa ta'ala asks, have you taken the fruit of his or her heart? You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what our children mean to us. He knows how much we care, how much we love them. He knows their position with us. 
And the malaika, they reply, yes. And then he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he asks, what has my slave said? And the malaika, they say, he has praised you and said, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah and to him we shall be returned. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, build a house for my slave in paradise, in Jannah, and name it Baytul Hamd, the house of praise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us it's so hard. It's so it's not easy. But when we're afflicted with something, the response that we have to say, that we have to recognize is inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, that everything that we have is his subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we are to him, and we will return to him. And you saw this mother who just went to go flower, get flower, she comes back. And she's just yelling, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, my Lord, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. She's recognizing Allah. You can imagine how much pain with all that Ya Rabb that she's calling out to him with what's what's in that Ya Rabb. Someone who just lost the fruit of their soul. And the Prophet وسلم, he also lost children. And he had a young son by the name of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala wa sahbihi wa sallam, he lost Sayyidina Ibrahim at a young age. And the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala wa sahbihi wa sallam, he had held Ibrahim when Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam was breathing his last few breaths. And the narration tells us that he kissed him. He kissed him. And he smells him. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama. And I want to share with everyone this narration so you can see it as well. And you have it and you know it and you bring it to your hearts. And Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama. He starts to cry. And Sayyidina Abdurrahman bin Auf is there and he's seeing the Messenger of God sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam crying. And he says, even you, you're weeping, O Messenger of God, you're, you're crying. And the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he tells Sayyidina Abdurrahman that, uh, that this is mercy. This is rahmah. Who doesn't love their children? Who doesn't care about their children? So hard to see another child suffer. So hard to see your own children suffer. And he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he tells Sayyidina Abdul Rahman that this is a mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal. And then look at what he says here. He wept even more. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And he says, as he's addressing Ibrahim, these uh, the eyes are shedding tears. And the heart is grieved, but we will not say except what pleases our Lord. O oh, Ibrahim, we indeed are grieved by your separation. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. That loss, that unimaginable loss. But even through that unimaginable loss, we recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We find the spiritual fortitude to know that everything is from him and that this world is not the be all and all. There is the akhirah. And the akhirah is greater than this dunya. This dunya that we're living in is Darul Bala. It's the abode of tests and trials and tiredness and anxiety and worries and challenges. But the Akhirah is the abode of getting paid for what you did in this dunya. Darul Jaza. And once we enter, bi'idnillah, all of us into Jannah, we forget all of the difficulties that we went through in this life. Our Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he tells us, look at this amazing nature of the Akhirah. He tells us about a man who had all of the richness of this world, didn't go through any difficulty ever, nothing. And you can imagine this person lived what would be seen from a material standpoint as a perfect life. 
No ailments, no sickness, no anxieties, no worries. Everything was perfect for them. And they were deserving, because of their own actions, to go to hell. And on that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes that person who lived this amazing life in this dunya, in this world, and he just dips him. Dips, you know, you you dip something into like your, your tea or water. You dip it in and you take it out. So he dips that person into the hellfire. And he asks him, do you know ease? Do you know any comfort? And that man says, I've never in my life experienced ease and comfort, just from that dip. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes a man who lived the most difficult life in this world, the most challenging life in this world, all anxieties, all pain, all suffering, and they're deserving of paradise. And Allah dips that person into paradise. And he asks him, have you ever suffered? Do you know suffering? And he says, no, ya Allah, I only know ease and I only know comfort. So all of the challenges that we're going through in this world, once we, ya Rabbi ya Kareem, enter paradise, it's all gone. We just have to keep on this path. So we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings ease to the hearts of any parent that's ever lost a child. And we ask that he subhanahu wa ta'ala in particular removes the suffering, Ya Rabbi Ya Kareem, of the people of Gaza. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon.